Hi, we made it here a little bit ago. It is Sunday the 27th of December. Uh, I'm just realizing I did not bring my handy dandy new selfie stick, so I'm totally bummed about that. But we started making a list and apparently I didn't check it twice. So I feel a little naughty, but I think I'm nice. Okay, enough Christmas renditions. Um, Paul is attempting to put up a TV antenna because we don't have any cable or anything down here. Um, we're kind of stuck in the woods, so we're not 100% sure this is going to work. Uh, number two, um, our hot water heater that's attached to the camper apparently froze and it busted. So we have no hot water. Great time for that. So we are going to have to use some water on a stove. That's how it is when you're camping. So, but just wanted to give a big shout out. We've got the, both of the dogs here and so far so good. We've let Memo, who is our little dog, right here. Isn't yeah, cute? We've let him completely off the leash and he's been pretty good. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about this girl right here. She is a rescue and she's a runner. So I'm a little afraid to let her go off right now. So it's going to take some time to get her used to um, our surroundings. So, but as for now, uh, tomorrow, I'm not hundred percent sure what we're going to be doing. It is our anniversary tomorrow, wedding anniversary. So we'll be working on our land. Best anniversary present ever. So, all right, see ya. Um, afternoon, whatever it is for you. <laughs> I'm in the processes of uh, getting ready to convert the bush hog we just purchased from shipping mode into functional mode. And with that, um, the bush hog I'll show you here in a minute, or brush hog, whatever you call it, um, it's it's basically made as flat as possible so they can get as many as they can on the truck. It has two fork boxes at the end also. Um, those might stay on there, I don't know yet. I think I actually will leave them on there just for added strength and rigidity. So I'll switch it around here for just a second and show you what I'm talking about. Yes, here it is. This is what I'm talking about. See how the the bar, all of this stuff is flat. And normally it would stand up on this end right here. And that's how they load it with forks. It gives it something to stand. They stack all these vertically. Um, it's in the horizontal position right now, but I'm getting ready to go through the process. I'm going to add some gear oil right in there. Um, and then I'm going to start taking it apart to put it back together. And we're going to be putting uh, synthetic gear oil in here. Uh, not because that's what it called for, it's just because that's what I had. Uh, I got two quarts to go in there. I'll get that in there and come right back.
Yeah, sorry, the audio isn't the greatest right here. We were um, in the process of hooking this up for the first time because we had just taken it from shipping mode into um, using it for the first time, spinning it, making sure everything was safe, uh, checking the gear oil, the greasing. Um, and that thing, it's heavy. Um, I don't know how much it weighs. I can look. But I would put it at at least... Uh, at least four or five hundred pounds, probably more than that. Um, so it was recommended for the tractor. The, the way that it's connected there, um, the black bar, that silver bar there, that's the pivoting point. The two blue bars on the left and right, that's what actually does the lifting. And the black um, shaft going from the tractor to the gearbox there on the top of the uh, mower is what. Um, actually spins it. That's the power takeoff. And here we're just we're making sure everything's lined up, making sure it's level. Uh, at, at, at this point I thought that the, the stabilizer bar that I have there in my hands, I thought that was the right size. It wasn't. Um, stabilizer bar basically goes from the apparatus to the tractor and it gives it a um, another anchoring point to keep it from swaying left and right. Um, here I'm lifting to check the clearance and it looks like the power takeoff bar, it actually hits the deck. Um, so we have to make some adjustments there. This is corrected by tightening up the, the silver um, lifting bar there at the top. But um, here's where I'm measuring it and it's, it's just way too short. Uh, I think it ended up being at like 32 and a half inches. Uh, from pin to pin and we spent a lot of time here doing this uh, what you're seeing here is an edited version the um, the assembly the, there's a shear bolt that goes through that power takeoff there at the gearbox it's a safety where if it locks up it'll just break that off that's the the opposite end there um, that's the power takeoff going into the tractor um, and we had to take part of that protective covering off to assemble it. And that is, uh, that's something that you really should never operate anything with a power takeoff without the shield. Uh, I know more experienced people do, and I know a few more experienced people who aren't here today for, because of it. The power takeoff is no joke. There's a whole lot of power there that you, you can't stop. There's no switch to flip. There's no safety. If that grabs a hold of you, it maims you or it'll kill you. So, uh, for the first time person running a tractor, especially with a bush hog or any power takeoff device, I highly recommend never ever operate it unless you know exactly what you're doing. Um, I've got a couple hours under my belt with a bush hog. Um, none with this tractor at this point so like I said I'm taking all the time I can to make sure it's straight it's level because um, I don't want something stupid to be the reason why I or anybody around me would get hurt so I've always often double and triple checked um, there's a really good illustration here about how small the draw bar is and how short it was um, Ginger got some good film on this one for sure but we, uh, we get it up here, we get it spinning, uh, we check it, and we just try to make sure that you know everything's where it goes, everything's where it needs to be. Um, and you gotta get it perpendicular to the tractor itself. Um, and then when I fr the first time I spin it, I spin it away from everybody. Um, did I think something was gonna happen? No. Um, but. Did I want something to happen that I didn't expect? If I did, I wanted it to happen away from everybody else. Um, it's just a common safety practice. Uh, every time in our other farm, when I spin a, a bush hog or any power takeoff device, nobody's around when it gets spun the first time. Because I've been surprised by certain animals, you know, taking a nap up in there and... Uh, it scares the living piss out. Or if there's like a, a rock or a stick stuck in there that you didn't know about from the last time and it, it came loose. 
while it sat for a couple months. Um, because when those things come out, they come out like a rocket. Well, he got one swipe around and then the tractor stopped. So, um, I'm gonna go over there now and he was hoping it was out of gas, but it's not. Granted, it's a 1961 tractor. So we got it at a really good price. Maybe that's why. All right, I'm gonna go check it out. Mm -hmm. 